Hello guys, how are we all doing today in the YouTube world? If you're new to the channel, I do a lot of mid-level tool reviews, some low and high hand sprinkled in, as well as some car tech tips and repairs. I did a video yesterday on this SK quarter inch drive, 260 position, 1.7 degree arc swing, six ball design, six inches long, was $30, it was made in China. So we sad to see about SK tools, but that seems like it's been happening way too much with other brands. I've had a request to dissect it to see what makes this little bad boy tick. Pull it up to the camera here. And like I said, I did a review on it yesterday showing you how, how it was, how much back drag it had, and how I felt about it. It's a pretty clunky, I won't say clunky, but I don't know. The model number says 216P. I'm not even sure that's a model number. It didn't have a model number when I bought it. We're going to dissect it, though, because it's got a snap ring there, so we can take it apart. I'm not going to go into too much detail about anything else about it as far as that goes. I will put a socket on here first before we dissect it. I wonder if there's any lube in here. A lot of guys thought there might not be any lube. This is a six-paw design, so they're, as far as I know, they're the only one out there like that. This is a fairly new product by SK. To me, it sounds kind of raspy a little bit, like it's starving for lubrication. That six paws has got a lot of, uh, it's got some back drag. You wouldn't think it does, but I think the six paws creates a lot of friction or resistance. Okay, enough of that. Let's, uh, let's take this apart. I'm gonna be using my OTC, which I bought about, well, I don't know, 10 years ago, I'm not even sure. That set was made in USA. It's funny because I'm doing a USA-made series starting this week. And I want to know if you guys, I typically do a lot of mid-level tools. Do you want to see a few more high-end tools in there in that series, like Snap-on, Mac-O, Mac? Let me know. But these are made in USA. They'll be in the series. So let's take this apart and see what's going on. Much requested vi video. Let me see if I can bring this a little closer to the camera. I'm not a professional, guys. I just do a lot of tool reviews. So I do what, I do the best I can, and hopefully we can see what's going on. It's a quarter-inch drive, so it's kind of small, but let's, put, let's take the uh, snapping off, off here first. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to get as close as I can to this. So you can see it. Get that out of the way. We're going to pull the snap ring off with my OTC players. I'm blind as a bat. You can see I got the uh, snapping players in there. I'm about to take off the retainer. Okay, I got that off. I took it off. There's a little clip. And we're going to take off the head carefully if we can. Oh, this is cool as hell. Before I show you the head, I'll show you the inside here. A typical round head, it has no lube. It looks like no lube, or very little lube. Let's see if I can get this in here. Take a gander. SK is in the house. There it is. There's It's, it's brand new, guys. I haven't used it. I'm not seeing much lube in there. That's a typical. A lot of manufacturers... You can see my finger, very, very little lube, if any, at all. Now let's check out the mechanism. This is cool. Here's the mechanism here. It's got six paws. I don't know if I can even get it in there. It's a small little unit being a quarter inch. You can see two paws there. See the little springs in between? It's got little springs with ball bearings. This is a cool little design. So there are six paws in here. As far as I know, it's the only one on the market like it. That's cool how that works. I'm not going to take this apart. I'll have springs flying all over the place. It seems pretty pretty uh, fragile, though. Just look at the springs in there. There's a spring between each one here. You can see it there a little bit. I don't know how this would hold up over time. It seems like a pretty, it seems like it'd be kind of a fragile design. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But there, there's the paw, paws. 
and to rotate it. I hope I don't, this might fly apart. I don't know. I'm going to try to move it. All right, ready? If I can move it in reverse. I just moved it in reverse. That is, it's kind of a very interesting design. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Very, very interesting design. So it looks like you got six paws, but only three are engaged at once. Can you guys see that? You see it over here, over there, and over here. So of the six paws, there's only three. It looks like three are always engaged at once. There's one that's not engaged there. There's another one not engaged. And there's one not engaged there. So that's basically how that works. You've got six paws, and only three are engaged at once. Another angle at it. I don't know if you can see it. There's one paw. There's one paw there. There's one there, and there's one up here. So there's three paws engaged at once. I didn't even. I didn't know that. I never saw anything like this. It looks similar to a round head with two paws design, which you see all the time. But this has got six rotating paws. The springs look very, very fragile. I don't know how this will hold up. As you can see, it just there's some play in there. I don't know how strong the design that'll be over time. I just got a feeling you could break this. I don't know. You guys tell me. I I thought it was interesting taking this apart. That's what you guys got. You got the six piles, and only three at once are engaged. You can see three three right there again. All right, guys. I'm not going to tear it apart any more than this. I'll have springs flying all over the place. But I just thought. That was very, very interesting. I had a request for this, so I took it apart. And, and guess what, guys? There's very, very little lube. You can see my fingers, so this does need some lube. That was the other question. You may have to take it apart and put some lube on it. I have had a lot of ratchets come unlubed from the factory, or very little. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Don't ask me why. Lube doesn't cost that much money, right? That is interesting. Really, really is. And there is the uh, button for the. Uh, I gotta be careful I don't pop springs out. There's the button for the socket release. All right, guys, I'm not gonna spend any more time on this, but you guys wanted to see it. They came unlubed. They're very little lube. You can see a teeny bit there, and there's hardly any on my fingers. So. It came on lube. Let's we'll see if we can pop this back in here while we're here. See if it gives me a hard time. I don't know if it will or not. Maybe, maybe not, right? <laughs> Where's that clip? I just want to see if I can put it back together. Are you guys seeing that? I don't know if you're seeing it good. I think it's a, it's a cool design. But I just don't know. Being a new design, how well is this going to hold up? It definitely needs lube. I will be lubing it. I don't have time to do it right now to show you. But I will be putting some lube on here. As soon as I can get this on here, this uh, snap ring, which that could be tricky. I love these OT OTC snap ring players. They are definitely some of my favorite. Let's see if we can get this in here. Let's see if we can get it in there. Yes, we got it back together. So that definitely needs lube. And it went, it went back together all right. It definitely needs lube. But that's six paw design. So like like I just showed you, only three paws engage at once. Alternating paws, whatever, but uh, interesting design. We'll see how it holds up, guys, over time. That's it for today, and uh, we got to use the OTCs. I love these. I did a video on these, but I'll be showing them my USA series, all right, because they're made in the USA. So I'll be showing those OTCs. I love it. Was, I think it was a 12-piece set. I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be doing a, a made in USA series starting any day, and I want to know from you guys if you want any low op. Uh, I usually do a lot of mid-level tools. Do you want to see any high-end ones in there, like Snap-on? 
Macro, Mac, Cornwall, let me know. Uh, I can make that happen. All right, guys. <clears throat> Take care. Have a great day, and thanks for your support. For the ones that have subscribed, you guys have been wonderful. Have a great day.